We are pleased to have you on yet another edition of Press R. Welcome. On Press R, we make sure that we do not suppress our emotions. But what we count on is for our good sense to lead us in a debate and discussions. That's what we pride ourselves of on Press R. And we're going to do that today. And today's edition of the program, six, since 2016 to 2021, it's four or five years running uh, that we have crisis in the northwest and southwest region, regions. And there are efforts, there have been efforts, to make sure that peace is restored in that part of the country. But this far, we still have the guns. We still have the crisis raging on. Restoring peace in the northwest and southwest. What can the youth do, given that we are within the framework of the Youth Day or Youth Week. And that's our first topic. We're also going to look at bilingualism. That was also topic this week. Bilingualism. What is pulling back the effort? We also know that there is, there has been effort to make sure that bilingualism is practical in Cameroon. What is pulling back the effort? We're going to discuss to try to answer those questions with our panel. The panelists are all here for them. Ladies first, I'm going to start with Laughlin Angel. Laughlin Angel is a journalist of Africa TV. Welcome to the program. Thank you so much, Kilian. Uh, thank uh, the viewers. It's a youth week, it's a youth period. And of course, it's just but natural that we check and see the role that the youth can play in bringing back peace in the northwest and southwest regions. And of course, uh, we'll talk about bilingualism, the National Bilingualism Week just added uh, Friday. Uh, it's but natural also that we look at it and see since 1990, yes. the, well, how far, what has been done. Yes, sir. Thank you. We are honored to have you on the set today. Thank you. Uh, just next to you is uh, Mr. Elangwe Victor Sakwe. Mr. Elangwe Victor Sakwe is Deputy Programs Inspector in the Ministry of Youth Affairs and right. Civic Education. Education. Yes, um, I shortened uh, that uh, title. I know you will explain that title <laughs> to us. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you, Mr. Gillian. It's my singular pleasure to be with you here and to take part in today's uh, press hour. Um, just like um, the other panelists... Um, Lovelyn Angel. Uh, Lovelyn uh, just insisted. Um, we are within the context of the celebration of the 55th especially with respect to our topic on how to restoring peace in the north west and the southwest region thank you very much sir we are honored by your presence thank here. you very much yes uh to my right we have uh mr iswakisito mbong you are Right away from Boya, that's where you are based. You've come to Yaoundé just wow. for this program. You are the president of the Southwest Youth League. Is that correct? Yes, very correct. Welcome to the program. Thank you. The pleasure is all mine. Yes, you're going to share with us what you are doing and what you intend to do, especially uh, as we are going to look at the, what the youth can do to help restore peace in the northwest and southwest regions. Uh, we have uh, one youth here, a very resourceful <laughs> youth, uh, Guillaume. He is desk editor and webmaster um, of the Guardian Post newspaper. Uh, I insist on Guardian Post because earlier we talked about the Herat. Of course, that is corrected. Uh, Guillaume, <laughs> welcome to the program. Thank you, Kilian. How do you feel this youth week? I see you are full of youthfulness. Uh, I may be full of youthfulness, but it is sad that it is one, it is another youth week which is not as it used to be for many youths in the northwest and the southwest uh, region, unfortunately. So we just take it as it is. We have to take it because the conditions impose what we have <laughs> on us now. We're looking for ways of getting out of it, and that's why I brought you. You're going to give your suggestions. Now it's time for press review. What did the newspapers say during the week? And Manuel Avenue is there, as always, with the press review.
The visit of the Secretary of State of the Vatican to Cameroon becomes that one topic running through most newspaper columns this week. The star sees Vatican diplomat in Cameroon for reconciliation to Cameroon Tribune Pope's envoy advocates for peace in Cameroon as he braved boycott calls by separatists to ensure that Nkeya is conferred pallium on the horizon, thus sparking fresh hopes in resolving Anglophone crisis especially as Bia dispatches Ngongo to Bamenda on the Guardian Post. His eminence, Pietro Cardinal Parolin, then cautions Bia, seek peace with Anglophones on the median, before asking Amber fighters to drop arms on the post by divorcing guns and embracing peace, reconciliation on the Chronicle Times. As Pope Francis seek peace, reconciliation on Newswatch, it is the Catholic Church that commits in resolving Anglophone crisis on the scoop. With all this, the Guardian Post sees inclusive dialogue imminent as government comes under fresh pressure. Then ex-Amber boys riot after months of stage-managed happiness on the Post weekend, as the Guardian Post reports on the scandal at the Boya DDR Center, saying the rampage was over unfulfilled government promises. The Horizon thinks Northwest DDR's regional coordinator survives Tom, then presents tips on how laying down arms can be made effective. Cameroon Tribune simply presents what DDR centers do, saying they offer vocational training amongst others. Just when Bermenda Denison's rubbish military terrorist accusations against assassinated teenagers on the Horizon, Bermenda Population 2 maintains four youths killed were innocent on the post. Then the presidential couple assists Ngarbu incident survivors on Cameroon Tribune. Cameroon then dedicates a week to evaluating bilingualism practice as government's fight network of money laundry called Dirty Business. 11th February build-up presents opportunities for youths in a youth village at the National Museum. Says PH Director General announces BIA's 5 billion CFA France gas plants for Bermenda, just when Minfi declares readiness to settle internal debt. And then the intermediate lions crash out of the Shan with a 4 0 bashing from Morocco in the semi finals. Let's now end our press review with a story on the horizon where the founder of Amity Bank and founding president of Kumbo Strikers Football Club, Shea Tasha Lawrence Lowe, is seeking aid from President Paul Bia after a series of tragedies that have seen him reduced to almost a shadow of his former self. In his letter to President Paul Bia, the notable of Nsor Fondom and CPDM section president for Buiwan calls on the head of state to reinforce a court decision meant to see him reclaim his lands. Until I come your way again, this is your hour with the press. Thank you very much, Emanuela. And we know that before you meet us again next week, you must have been perusing through the pages of tablets in Cameroon. Our topic again, the first topic that we are treating is restoring peace in the Northwest and Southwest. What can the youth do? And this is within the framework of the 2021 Youth Day. Uh, we have uh, the uh, programs inspector yep. in the Ministry of Youth Affairs Education, Mr. Elangwe Victor Sakwe. Um, you, you will not have, uh, when I say you, your ministry actually yep. uh, directs what happens during the Youth Day. There will be no March past uh, this year within the context we understand. Yep. But we want to think that it doesn't, it, the March past is just an aspect of Youth Day celebration. Kilian, you're right. Um, the March Pass exercise is very symbolic when it comes to uh, measuring the massive and active participation of young Cameroonians when we see the March outside. But notwithstanding, it's a unique event like other events that has their significance. And um, I will just say that the Minister of Youth Affairs and Civic Education was just proactive, being timely, after due observation with respect to the non-respect of the barrier measures. And owing to our health, 
or health of the uh, young population being at stake upon the high instruction of the state authority, I think it was but timely that the Minister of Youth Affairs and Civic Education in his uh, press release of uh, the 5th February um, um, uh, cautioned, cautioned the public yes. that uh, the March pass exercise, as symbolic as it is, will be suppressed. Any? Notwithstanding, Good. the other activities mm. provide us, or the young people, the opportunity to expressing themselves as they have always expressed themselves. What do you mean? The activities um, which are restricted in terms of population, which we encouraged, and um, there are two approaches of participating during this um, uh, year's edition. One is virtual. Mm -hmm. that a wide range of activities will be projected. Mm -hmm. You can be at home and, you know, you enjoy all the activities mm -hmm. that we have earmarked in the National Harmonized Program. Mm -hmm. bon. We had opportunity to, to organize in a restricted activity which uh, did not demand um, large crowd. a large crowd. Mm -hmm. And um, coupled with this, the two activities from different approaches it still provides that unique uh, platform mm -hmm. where the young people uh, should Thank express you very themselves. much. That was just to situate uh, us on how the Youth Day will be celebrated this year. Uh, the week is still running. Uh, it was full week. Uh, we are today 7th and we know Youth Day is on the 11th and it will run up to the 11th without a March pass. We have all those activities we are talking about. Yeah. Um, I take you, you are also a youth and we should go straight deep into our topic, uh, Mr. Iswa Kisito Mbong from also uh, youth, uh, Southwest Youth League president. Um, how can we, what can youth do to help restore peace in the Northwest and Southwest? Thank you very much for that question, Mr. Kilian Ladifon. Um, I must emphasize that we are the youth league of the Southwest region. Um, you see, we, we must be frank to ourselves. Since this crisis started in 2016, November 2016 to be precise with the teachers, because I happen to be a teacher, on that fateful morning, 21st November 2016, I was in a classroom teaching in Tiku when we just heard that we should suspend all activities. Now, we must be frank to tell ourselves the truth that from 2016 to date, the youths have been very, very dormant as far as putting efforts to resolving this crisis is concerned. Despite the fact that those who are in the bushes, we have to make that clear, over 95% of those who are in the bushes are youth. I think and, we agree with and we think that the youths have been kept aside for over four years, close to five years now, because we are entering the fifth year, we have entered the fifth year already. So I think it's high time for the youths to unite themselves and see how they can restore peace. We have different activities which we are programming to carry That's out. That's what you are doing. We as Southwest Youth League, the so youths of the Southwest Youth League. What are those things, programs that you are doing to, you know, harmonize your activities and come up? What are those activities and how can they help to restore the peace? You see, the, there is a popular saying that a hungry man is an angry man. We think that some of these are brothers who are in the bushes. I dare to call them our brothers because they are our brothers. They are our brothers. Because before course. they went to the bushes, they were with us. They lived with us in the same society. Mm -hmm. We slept on the same bed. We lived in the same home, etc., etc. Even right so, in the bushes. Right in the bushes. So I think they are our brothers. And as I said before, a hungry man a is an angry it's man. A it's a reality. So one of the main things which took these guys into the bushes is unemployment. Mm. And we as the Southwest Youth League, we have decided to put ourselves together to see how we can better the lives of the youths of the Southwest region and to an extension the entire nation. How, can because you, how are you planning to do that? For, all right, thank you very much for that again. Presently at Southwest Youth League, we, have, we are putting up a project which will be realized soon, an agricultural project, project. Because we have a plethora of projects to carry on to see how we can create employment for ourselves. Because whether I like it or not, the government cannot do it all. We cannot keep depending on the government. That also is a fact. So, yeah. for instance, we are venturing into an agricultural project in, in the months ahead. 
we are lobbying for, a, for, for, our, for 15 hectares of land where we can carry out agricultural activities. Farming, the seed never fails. So we think that if we engage in such activities which will bring the youth together, where the youth can see themselves to belong, it will help to solve in this problem. The, that's loft, lofty. We have heard the head of state. We have heard so many other people talk about the, that the land does not fail us. That's what you are talking about. Exactly. You are going in for 15 hectares? We, we are starting with 15 hectares of land yes. of, to, to cultivate. Now, Do you have the land? We are looking forward to doing that. We have already made, um, we have already approached the authorities for that. If you have 15 hectares of land, to me that's not big land for youths of the southwest. That's, that's what I was, I was coming, to, I, I was driving at. Remember, as a southwest youth league, we have a regional bureau, and in the months ahead, we are going to make a regional tour to install all the divisional bureaus. Now we, are we have to start somewhere. That's Good. something we have to. We agree. That's just one thing. What are the other things? Do you think that just just by having that agriculture uh, is not the only aspect? Okay. We have to get ourselves involved in so many activities. For the past four years, the cultural aspect of the region is dying down. You see, sports. Look at what happened uh, at the Shan. For Morocco to come and beat us in a baggy at four zero. And it was a shameful thing that, I, I wish to emphasize on that. Yes, it was a shameful ahead. thing that no Southwesterner was part of that squad. That's to tell you that the, the, the sporting aspect of that region is also dying down. And so we will not just emphasize on the agricultural aspect, we have to get ourselves involved in all the other aspects, the sports, the culture, I mean, to revive the entire Southwest region now, and all its range. Those are lofty ideas you have. The boys are in the bushes. What are you telling those boys in the bushes? Because you, as youth, you are organizing yourselves. You are not in the bushes. Exactly. So the, what you can actually do is to let those who are in the bushes, your peers, come out. What are you doing? Now, we have to make that again very clear. The first thing is that this, this measure switch we are taking is to first of all encourage them to see that there is hope. Mm -hmm. And now we are telling them we have always be pleading. We have been pleading on that. Now, the truth is, we have been telling this our brothers and sisters that it's time for us to put reasoning ahead. For instance, I take the angle of when we deprive our children from going to school, I think it's not a good thing. At the end, if we fight, 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 and our children are, in, uh, are not educated, it means we are heading for a doom. So we are pleading on them that, all right, after all this while, let's mm -hmm. keep the arms down mm -hmm. and put reasoning ahead to see how we can rebuild Region. Yes, actually take the message to them. Don't only talk among yourselves. No, no, no. We have been bush. doing that. We yes, uh, Jiro, you, you listen. What actually can the youth do to help restore peace? Because uh, the youth cannot do that alone. He said um, about 95% of those who are in the bushes are youth. Yeah. And the others who are there are just victims. I mean, actually those who are fighting, they are youth. What can the youth do to help restore peace in the uh, Northwestern South? Kilian, I think the first thing youth have to do is accept the situation. Because for four years now, youth have been used as a catalyst for this war. Those that are fighting in the bushes are youths. The soldiers are youths. Victims, casualties every day are youths. So I think that the first thing we have to do is accept the situation. A lot of people still wake up in the morning in the Northwest and Southwest region and they are just looking for their daily bread. But I think that it is, in as much as you are striving to survive, we should think of the future. And that brings us to the aspect of defining our roles in this conflict as youths. Because if we, if we don't define our role, if we keep waiting on government or on people in the diaspora, you realize that they will keep on using us as a catalyst for the war. And even when the war comes to an end, the spoils of the war would end up yeah, in selfish bellies. So I think that youth have to accept the condition that is going on now and then they define our role. We say that, okay, I'm, I'm a young man in as much as I'm a student, maybe going to school for instance, or I'm a businessman, I'm a trader. What can I do? What, what can I do to better this situation? And I think that after everything, <clears throat> in as much as what he's saying is laudable and what he's saying is laudable, we should go to the perspective and look at it, but what can we do without government? That is the only level where we, we can be able to come out as youth and say that this is our own role. And I think that it will require that we should uh, engage in politics actively.
as young people. A lot of young people still shy away from politics. They don't want to vote. They don't want to hear anything about politics. But I think that the most peaceful way at this point in time is for youth to take up the challenge and say, okay, we are engaging in politics. We will not just wait every time for them to come and say it's time to vote and then you go get a voter's card and then you vote and you sit and you wait for seven years or five years or four years. That's at the level of voting. Yes. You know the way politics is. I cannot let that go in our country <laughs> where you have the old people who have a kind of put a barrier. You don't, as youth, come closer. Yes. How are you going to cross that barrier? The youth have the numbers. We have the numbers, and that's the advantage to which we have as to young people. To vote them or to vote them out. But you cannot change it, first of all, if you don't even engage. And that is the problem. The youths are not even willing to engage. So when you walk into a room of 10 young people and you ask them, how many of you here even have a voter's card to start with? Okay. Very few have. So I think that there are other activities which we can do. There are other things which we can do as young people to bring this crisis to an end. We can do our best in our little corners to hold authority to power. We have seen with the campaigns online, like we had the phone tax campaign. There have been other things too. We can do that, but while doing that, we should be able to have something tangible to show for it. Because after everything you go, at the end of the day, you write on Facebook and on Twitter and it ends there. So I think that we as the youths too should be able to have that voice where when the young people decide that they are going to do something, they will do it. We have, that we is, have initiatives like that, the National Youth Council. Yes. You, are, you are talking about youths going down to the ground. Like the National Youth Council. But how many young people are even interested? Well, so, it's already so there. It is, Let me ask you. It is about, you are talking showing about that, that the National effort. Youth Council. You are talking about uh, taking action among yourselves. That is... What happens under normal circumstances? We know that the circumstances now are not normal. They are abnormal. What, what are you doing as youth? What can you do to communicate with the ones who are in the bushes? Because that's where the problem is. Yeah. And that's our focus today. Y yeah, I think it is not limited to the ones in the bushes only. We have a lot of times you still hear of altercations even between the uh, armed forces and youths. I think that the first thing to accept is that we are all human. And like we have seen the calls for them to go to the DDR centers. We as youths too can play that part, but it should not be only on the part of the boys. Because, for instance, we hear still in towns like Boya, Bamenda, a lot of people are complaining maybe about military brutality and all of that. So I think that we as young people, we have this role to come up and say, I'm a youth. I'm, I'm, uh, I understand the role that these guys are playing, and this is my role. I tell the boys in the bushes if I can. You tell them, but come out, let us, let us talk. Come out, come to the DDR centers. Mm -hmm. But it should not be limited to them also. We turn yeah. around to the other side, to the military too. You tell them, okay, exercise restraint too. That's be patient good. with us. That's right. Um, NJ, you've not uh, spoken. I should say lovely, rather. You have not spoken. Um, in a funeral two days ago, there's a, a lady who was speaking. She came from the northwest, from my village, and was talking about what's happening, the, 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 the killings, how many people who have lost, especially the youth. The Southwest Youth League president talked about about 95% of those who are in the bushes are the youth. And she talked about this, saying the male is, the male is becoming an endangered species in this southwest, northwest, and it's because mostly because of this war. Um, you agree with that? And what can the youth do to help uh, restore peace in the two English-speaking regions? Okay, thank you so much. Um, before getting to that, I want to tell a representative from the Ministry of uh, uh, youth, youth Affairs, affairs. Youth affairs and, and civic, civic education. education that. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to thank her, uh, can I say thank the head of state through the minister <laughs> <laughs> right. for cancelling the March pass because they, are, they take to heart the health of our youth. At the same time, we have uh, our markets that are crowded to people. We got public places where people don't respect uh, the barrier measures and it goes. Uh, I want to say I took um, uh, a vehicle from here to Douala and uh, from here it was like you know if we don't have a face mask you're not getting into the agency that same agency from Douala to Yaoundé there was no problem which means there's a problem uh, along that way I want to tell uh, Gio. Gio that uh, the youth uh, are boys that are in the bushes they're not even catalysts 
they are the actors mm -hmm. because they are the people on the field. Mm -hmm. We might even say that the diaspora are the catalysts mm -hmm. because they don't take part in what is happening. Mm -hmm. They are using them. They are using the youth. Mm -hmm. Yes, the youth are the real actors while the diaspora sponsoring them. Mm -hmm. Is a catalyst. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. Our National Youth Council have not gotten anything from them during this period and so on. Uh, you talked about uh, the male uh, gender being an endangered uh, species or, or sex. Mm -hmm. Very true. Because uh, we know that in conflict situations, the male gender is always looked upon as dangerous, as criminal, as that gender that can easily be used and we see it really in the northwest and southwest regions because when they say there's a military raid we see women and children staying behind and telling their husbands and their sons to move into the bushes it is because they know that like they're saying tomorrow the word ambazonia is no longer something that people are afraid to call tomorrow you people are the ones that are going to take the guns that is why they are really endangered. And we will see that the number of people that have been killed, when you hear neutralize, most of them are youth, are youth and youth. the male gender. gender yeah. Reason why they are really in danger. endangered. Mm. And it's very true. No. But like you say, what can, what can they do? Yes. I think that Gio said something a while ago about participation in political issues. It is very, very important that youth at times they say power is seized. Mm. Yeah, they say power is seized. So the youth must stand up, form teams, do lobbying, you know, do lobbying and do a participatory approach when it comes to peace building. We must, we, we must not sit behind. Yeah. We must participate to come out through programs. We got our youth league uh, leader from the South who talk about the issue of unemployment, which is very true. That is why when we talk about participatory approach, which means we must take, we seize that power, we get positions. Even if it is through the ballot box, even if it is through writing of petitions, yeah. it is but correct. Right even at the level of the United Nations, you are Lo correct. Lo Laughlin, yes. I like the points that you are raising. I like your ideas. Thank you. But let us bring them down to the ground. You say youth can mobilize themselves, they can <laughs> seize power from uh, the elderly because in, let, let's take your constituency, Good. call it whatever. Mm -hmm. Is it possible that what you're talking about, youth just constitute themselves and come up and take political space? I, 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 I think, Kilian, let me just come in there. Sorry no. for taking the floor. It's okay. it's okay. I think it's very, very possible. Okay. Yes. It, it's just a matter of unity. Those, the, 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 the youth command every society in this world. When the youth stand on their feet, nobody can defeat them. Talk less of a, a situation like I'm wrong where the What the is holding is them from standing on I go back to this position. Yeah, Nze. Nze, sorry. Mm. The youths are scared of getting involved into, pol into politics, which Why? is a very, very bad thing. Why are they scared? I don't think I, they are scared. The well, youth yeah. are involved in politics, but in a brainwashed manner. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe that's the right words yeah. to use. Yes. As, you, as you rightly said a while ago, it's time for them to seize it if they cannot give it to them. Yes. Let a youth stand. I'm, I, I, I'm, still, I'm, still, I'm still asking. I'm still asking this question. Yeah. Since you are speaking, in your constituency, you know the gurus, those who call the shots, like politicians, and when it comes to what they call invest, investing, investiture, they decide who is going to be where. Why they are doing that decision? Can you talk? They make that, those decisions, and those decisions always go through because the youths have not stood up. Please, if this youth stand up and tell them that it will not go, it will not go. Mm -hmm. Like what he just said some, a, a while ago, when the issue of phone tax came up, it was all over social media, and that continuous voice made that, that, that uh, decision to be suppressed. Mm -hmm. These are the same persons, the youths are the same persons on whom these persons count on for elections. So if the youth stand up and tell them, no, it's time for you to give us space, uh, they will have it. I, I yes, so Mr. Killian, if, uh, I may, if I may intervene, I think uh, I've listened keenly to our interventions, and um, I want to salute the courage, first of all, uh, with which the youth are engaged.
to ensuring that uh, peace is restored mm. from all your actions and uh, projections. But notwithstanding, I want to caution that uh, in every community there is a rule of law. When you say the youth should take power, I think that's not the best approach. Well, that's not the through best election, approach. Through, uh, yes, yeah, even through elec uh, elections, when you say you take power. Um, I want to draw your, uh, your is attention there anything to wrong the fact with that. Because it, it, is, it is known that power no, is, taking, is ceased. Uh, okay, let's put it uh, power is ceased, yes. but in an organized manner. That's sure. what I mean to say. That's why I talk Are we about getting mobilization, it? of course. Good. So, in terms of mobilization, um, he made mention that um, despite the efforts, uh, the government needs to come in. And um, with respect to the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Civic Education, you will understand that their dispositions, their strategic frameworks, which are like a solution to addressing the needs, okay. the expectations, and the aspirations of the young people. Which are, and, they? Um, which are they? For example, mm. from all indications, the, the youths need to be heard. They want to speak out. Mm -hmm. But dispositions have been taken by the government through the Ministry of Youth Affairs by putting in place... The National Youth Council, for example. Certain structures. For example, the Camaro National Youth Council with the purpose of providing a platform where the young people can come together, interact, and encourage them to in the decision uh, making process. Hey, thank you so I think much. It's I, will come in. I will just stop you there and then because uh, representing the government uh, is just but normal that you say what you are saying. Uh, what, what is the role of the National Youth Council? Who puts them there? Well, Who madam. is at the head? Wait. For fi for five no, 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 excuse five me. Good years, what we should ask now? first. For, what, what are you talking about? From what, from what you have said. Who has built up we the have, National have, Youth Council if not the government? the need. I've identified the need that the young people need, want a space to speak out. Exactly. Isn't and it? they have been speaking. The government right? has been intervened by providing them a platform uh, wherein so I, they I can think that actively we are, we are engage. We are missing the point here. We are missing the point here. We are missing the point here. Yeah. You see they an can, agency no, like no, no, the no, National no, Civic uh, Service Agency for Participation in Development, Yes. the National Youth Council, these are all good initiatives and they have been put there by the government. We are looking at what youths can do because we are acknowledging the fact that in as much as these initiatives are laudable, they cannot provide for all of the youths. They cannot give an adequate space of expression for all of the youths. Okay, so I we are asking, now. what I can, can, now. What can the other youths that cannot this benefit? Roles, they are the responsibilities. Exactly. And that is no, what no, no, they no, no, look at. Government. Even if the, they the, can, the question I ask is, to suit despite those now, structures, one, one, one excuse person me. at a time, mm. let, let him, let him, the question you've responded ask. to what he's saying, let him go. There's a need that the young people have a platform. Government responded by providing them the structure of the National Youth Council. Is tailored it? by government. It's not a matter of being tailored. Is the National Youth Council structure in existence? Yes. The question how we're answering how, how here is, is what can, can the youth do? Yes. This is an opportunity and a challenge for the young people to exploit this opportunity, which provides a way of uh, uh, interaction among youths of different interests. I think the problem is not in the structure. The problem is comes at the level of our attitude. Uh, well then what about attitude? What do you mean? Are we getting it? The structure Cameroon National Youth Council is an opportunity yes, we've for heard, the young we've, people we've, we've heard to that. take advantage. We've, we've heard that already. And we've heard that. What, yes. are, we, we, uh, what are the other things you know you have from some programs in your ministry okay. that, touch, that touch on patriotism? Um, how can this help the youth to understand that uh, can help to bring peace, to behave in a way. Yes, Killian, I think that you rightly said. Um, from the onset, if I were to make um, an introduction with respect to uh, the situation, the sociopolitical uh, situation in the Northwest and the Southwest, for over five years, as uh, Mr. Mbong uh, rightly insisted, or <coughs> pointed, voiced, out, pointed out, beg your mm -hmm. pardon, we realized that uh, the social fabric which is the base 
which encourages harmonious living together has been crippled, has been weakened. So? And just as you rightly said, mm -hmm. most of the young people are vulnerable. And that's why we see how things are. So how, now, can, how can this be used to? In other words, we are saying that the main preoccupation today for the young people as a challenge is this issue of social cohesion. Yeah, that, 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 is this issue of social cohesion? There, sir. Where, for, the, for the past yes, five yeah. years, we yes. have been in this crisis together. Yes. And I, I wish to say it clearly, that if the youths are not involved, it will take us a very long time to change this crisis. I don't think... The youths have you, the, the, involved the, the in... Youth, in, in providing, is, no, 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 I want to say... To this that's why we are... Because exactly, we're saying. I, I'll say it again. Yes. Most of those who take the decisions, even the political leaders from the Northwest and Southwest region, reside in Yaoundé. Nobody should hide that again. We no. are those who are... No, Please. No, no, that, let that's, let, that's let, let, no, no, no. Let us not... Let us not... They don't know what is happening in the field. My observation... Don't they have people who are among the young people? Is, the among the young people is they are still reluctant, passive to taking advantage of the wide range of opportunities at their disposal. We have uh, a new um, innovation: the putting up of the youth communal councils, which encourages that aspect of volunteerism amongst the young people. What do they want the to do? Against the background of the, yes. of, uh, uh, of uh, yeah. the decentralization process, mm -hmm. we've observed On that the, what the young you people, yes, the young people are, uh, 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 lack information. And when they have opportunity to get this, uh, 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 to contribute and get this information so that they are effectively engaged in community life, we look at this aspect of volunteerism. Yeah. What do Volunteer we mean? to do what? In a, uh, in a municipality. Brief, uh, just brief, as you yeah, said, the youths me, don't have yeah, access yeah. into political uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, responsibility. Yeah, excuse me, let me just make this point. Political responsibility. No, no, no. Let me uh, learn. Let yeah, me learn. Let me learn. Yes, let me learn by giving a concrete example. Yes, just bring somebody to start talking about the same thing that the government does. No, it's not a matter of the responsibility is part of the young people to get engaged. And I, I this want to opportunity... Assume that, I want to assume that... No, the, I, I, is, I wish to assume yes, that the it's youth not a so far have, it's, it's have, an have, assumption. They were dormant. No, no doubt. This time around, we have decided to put ourselves together. And we hope and pray that the opportunity will be given to us. The opportunities like, are... We, we, we are going to move we out of... We encourage you people we, to we explore move out this, of this opportunity. opportunity. But before we move out of this topic, are you we'll go it? around the table. Okay. Can yes, I say... So okay. I just let, let, want to say that as we're moving out of the topic, the theme on the role of youth, youth should form advocacy groups that they can lobby at the level of institutions, both national and international, with good programs that will affect both political and the economic face uh, of Cameroon. Okay. Yes, but then uh, when you are saying that you encourage advocacy, these uh, youths have been involved in this aspect of advocacy. It's the same I, question. I, I, I don't okay. think I'll agree with that. What has been the output? Now, let, let, let him answer. Uh, okay. They say you, you have been involved in advocacy, but you've not gone far. It is not a new creation. No, it let, him, let, new him creation. let him speak. No, I, I must advocacy say it. Advocacy is uh, 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 an integral part of youth Association. Go ahead. The, the truth is that um, we have not been very, very active. Not just the use of the Southwest, but the use no, of the we're entire, talking about the whole Cameroon. nation. We're talking but about this Cameroon. time around, let me be precise with the use of the Southwest. Yes. We have decided to be united for one, as one people. So this time around, we are just hoping. I wish, I hope that they are watching me, uh, the authorities are watching us. Of because course, yeah. this time around, we have <laughs> decided to put ourselves together to fight for our political, social, and economic rights as youths of the Southwest region. And this time around, not to stop us. We are going, it, we are going in for it. And we are very real and serious. Uh, not to, uh, yes, yeah, I would say uh, that. Let Guillaume say people have every opportunity, a wide range of opportunity. We heard that. Say, yes. We heard that. Take we heard that advantage already. Let the young man speak. And make 
and, uh, and, and make your, 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 yes. your voices. We shall get that. There is a lot we can say about opportunity. Let me say this. No. But we are living that we are where we are first because as a youth in Cameroon, because as a youth in Cameroon, life is hard. Young people are frustrated, and I think that. We are where we are today because if these young people were not frustrated, they would not have gone to the bushes in the first place. Definitely. So I think that acknowledging the fact that they might have had some genuine concerns is, first of all, a major step. And at this level, in as much as we are trying to bring more out of, out of the bushes, we yes. should seek ways to make sure that they don't go there by first being honest to ourselves. Exactly. So I think that the room is very little for young people to exercise themselves and to take over power, like she was saying. No, no, but no, no. We, I the don't, young I don't, people, I don't but we, the young so. people, suppose. should make sure that so. we take... We, we, we take charge of this of this little room first, and then we can seek ways to expand. Thank you, Thank you very much. Um, I think um, you've spoken, sir. Oh, well. They have also heard you. They've mm -hmm. given their reactions, and uh, viewers also have uh, appreciated what you've said here. We're going to move out of this topic to the next topic. The next topic is uh, bilingualism. What is pulling back the effort? Because we acknowledge that uh, there has been and the continuous to be an effort to make sure that bilingualism is practical in Cameroon. But before we discuss that topic, watch this report. We are going to have that uh, report in a short while. It seems spirits one from Being bilingual has become the cup of tea of workers in this administration, which has consciously made efforts at growing staff's bilingual skills, even up to creating an office bilingualism watchdog. In 2018, we launched the Bilingualism and Multiculturalism Commission, and being a founding member of the commission, I've seen great strides in terms of bilingualism on a daily basis. From the gatekeepers to the cleaners and up the ladder, growing up signs are visible. A lot of our unfound friends endeavor to speak English to us, and we endeavor to speak French to our unfound friends. Further signs that offices have become incubators for bilingual people are seen in these posters. <laughs> Cameroon's administration increasingly ready to pay the price to be bilingual. It's not only the Wednesday that has been put aside for, you know, English and French to be spoken. They have to go to the linguistic center so that they, they improve on their speaking skills. It starts from the roots to see the country's kids grow up bilingual. A day is dedicated for bilingualism. And apart from the day that has been dedicated, we have week-long activities towards bilingualism. We have Wednesday as a day for bilingualism. Recent landmark changes have stirred growth in bilingualism, and there are signs a lot more is in the pipeline. These students are confident that their proficiency in English and French opens them to brighter opportunities in and out of the school milieu. Like Cameroon is a member of the common world, so you can have opportunities with a member of the common world if you speak English well. It's good to be bilingual in our country, Cameroon, now, because anywhere you meet yourself, you'll be able to express yourself in good English and French. Secondary education officials in the region emphasize that bilingualism is a key tool in promoting quality education. Bilingualism comes in like the mortar that keeps all of these values together and goes a long way to promote all the efforts that we're making to cause our children to be balanced and our children not just nationally but even go internationally. Sketches, recitations and cultural displays were key moments in the celebration to end the National Bilingualism Week. Key moment, you said, and I want to take one key statement that I got from the reports. Take bilingualism from the classroom to the streets. Your appreciation, we're going to start with the lady first. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Taking uh, bilingualism from the classroom to the street. I want to say that uh, uh, I, want, I appreciate the practice of uh, bilingualism in Cameroon so far. We are on social media. A lot of times we get a lot of mistakes 
on uh, billboards, um, uh, mm. poor English that's been written here and there. Uh, where we see those things, even at, at agencies, because I like took some keen interest in those things to see how far uh, the practice of bilingualism has gone in a country. Uh, and I see a lot of mistakes. Those mistakes, they don't like make me to. Uh, look down on its practice, but to uh, load the effort, which means there is uh, some conscientization that is going on. There's some awareness that is going on that uh, we have two official languages, so they have to use them. Now it is going to the level of making them to say the right person should be at the right place. If you want to write a, give, pass a message on a billboard and you passing it in English and French, get the, the rights, yes, the experts in the language, yes, in to the do the language to do it. Uh, we <laughs> count on um, the uh, National Commission on the Promotion of Bilingualism and Multiculturalism uh, that is headed by our own honor, honored uh, Peter Mafani Mesonge. Uh, you, 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 the, this commission intends to get the branches in the 10 regions functional this year because I have been following their uh, activities uh, lately. What can we see? How do you appreciate bilingualism in the country? Yes, I think um, that initiative is a bold step to ensuring that uh, this uh, aspect of uh, bilingualism and multiculturalism is uh, welcomed by a larger uh, population. Uh, just as you rightly said, you, you made mention of uh, taking bilingualism uh, from the classroom to the street. To the street. I think um, the classroom bilingualism, let me put it, has its uniqueness because there you are theoretically, you know, oriented. And until you are well uh, 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 taught, can you now have the opportunity to practicing it uh, in the street? So it's, uh, they have their uniqueness. Mm -hmm. uh, so our efforts, you, are, you, you, you load the efforts? This of course, of course, I do. Yes. Uh, I do load the, uh, the efforts yes, that uh, bilingualism Kis structures are being extended Kis within the national territory. Kisito, it is actually set where the law that creates the commission, the Mosonga commission I'm talking about, that all documents, official documents in Cameroon must be published at the same time, both in English and in French. That's already a bold step taken. If it's not applied, then somebody has to be held responsible for not <coughs> making it applicable. Exactly. So how do you appreciate that and some other uh, efforts? First of all, I think it, it's a good initiative to create the uh, commission in the first place, but in its application, I have scored them below average. No. Because um, mm -hmm. I'll give them six on 10. Sorry, four on ten. That, that, that's, why, that's, that's, eh? my, that's my appraisal. Because, for instance, his well, ministry... That's your are you not personal hard? opinion. No, no I, I, think if I, give them, I think opinion. if I give them four on ten, I'm not too hard. Because the Ministry of Youth Affairs, if I'm not mistaken, mm. sent a communique out the other day cancelling um, March pass of 11 February. So they have not seen the English version of that document. Oh, I have it here. And I, I, I read it just a few okay. minutes. I'll okay, send that, it to you. Fine. So I, Please, I, I, I'll yeah, send it I to think, you. I, I let us not assume. Let us be very factual. I think it's a very good step We should be careful with the statements we make. Yeah. We have, have, yes. have, yes. have to just translate mm. it now into practice. Yeah, that, that, because that, that, most, that most documents which are signed from ministries and state offices are done in yeah, French. Yes. It takes a while for us to have them in English. That is correct. Your statement is generally correct. But the example of the Ministry Please. of uh, Youth Affairs and Civic Education, yeah. I had the two at the same time. Okay, but fine. your statement Please. holds for so many cases. Yes, uh, uh, you. Kilian, I think that the problem, the Bilingualism Commission may have its own weaknesses and its own strengths, but the problem is bigger than that commission. That we are not talking about, the, we are focused is, on not it that is commission. bigger than that commission. And we have to look at how to take bilingualism out of the classroom. Uh, it is unfortunate, but I have to say that this current generation may never know the pleasure of real bilingualism, but we should not make the mistake for future generations. I think that it is something which heads have to start rolling for bilingualism to be effective. Good. Because do you even if, if somebody should go down for it, like he said, mm -hmm. somebody should go down for making sure that uh, for, for for making sure that a document came out maybe in both languages, but translate uh, but not translated. It should be done from the origin, mm -hmm. not about translation. We still see a lot of these faults. But again, I'll go. I'll say it's bigger than the commission because the bilingualism commission does not employ staff in ministries. You see, a ministry it it it, it communicates with the public like it doesn't have a translator, sure. like it doesn't have a translator. And then you begin to ask yourself, how effective uh, do you expect 
their output to be. So I think that it transcends just the commission. We need to have bodies that make sure that heads start rolling. They ask that why, did, why is this communication in one language only? And it's not only about French, because it also applies the other way in the English-speaking parts of, of, the, the, of the country. Yes, yes. now yes. I stay with you. Our question um, we're trying to answer here is, yes. those are the efforts. What you have talked of, heads should roll. Yes. What, other, uh, what is pulling back uh, the practice mm -hmm. of bilingualism? I think that, first of all, it is the lack of willpower from those in authority and... Uh, it has transcended down to the youths because now the young people are just reluctant. The authorities are not following it. How much, how more of those who are below who just receive the communication? Yes, what's pulling back the practice of bilingualism in our country? First of all, I think it's, it's, it's a matter of mentality. It's, it's a mindset which we have to change in this country. Um, I blame the both parties, both the Anglophones and the Francophones. Let me use that expression. Because it's not about Anglophones, Francophones. We are talking about official languages. There are official yeah. languages, yeah. which is even inscribed in the constitution yes. of this country. So I think we have to change that mindset to know that we are all Cameroonian. There is no particular language which is my language. No. The both languages are our languages. So when we change that mindset, I think it will be a, a very good step for us. Thank you, Michael. Yeah. Come in to say uh, uh, Kilian. Eh? Uh, 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 before you speak, yeah. okay. um, the text that creates the commission that has to make sure that bilingualism is effective actually talks about what you, has, uh, uh, what you have just said, that no language should be considered inferior no or superior in terms of font size, that is size, in terms of everything, it, they should be at uh, the same the level. Same. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I thank you. Yeah. Say, uh, no language should be above the other one. Uh, that's theory. Yes. Uh, in practice, is something else. Yes. Maybe we take the. Canadian we are asking what is pulling that back. But that's what we're saying. Yes. What we're, what that's what we're saying that the law says it, but the practice is not what is being done. It pulls it back, of course. Yes. Because we think that there's one language that is the language of a minority, or the constitution says that English and French are fifty-fifty. If we want to weigh them, but that's not what's being practiced. That's what is pulling it back. The practice must be there. Uh, my junior colleague said there that uh, heads have to rule. Mm -hmm. the, they said the fish start getting <laughs> rotten from the head. What if I stay here and I hear the head of state making a speech to the youth and he does part of it in English? Seriously, from childhood, I've been expecting it. And usually I feel like I'm not part of it. Yeah, his speech is translated. No? Well, uh, Why should exactly. he should make sure uh, he say something? Yes, yes, yes. It's an option. No. He should do something. Please, it is something in, that, it is something, let me say something. Can what I, can about bilingual? I know that those who have been crying about the use of language has been the English-speaking population. It is an option, no doubt. But as a politician, you I want to have people. more people. You want to get more attention. You, and, you know, uh, a politician, you, you, you are a leader. You, you are correct. But when the head of state went so to Bamenda, he spoke in, yes. in English. Can I can he went to Boya. On a youth day, what so if the head of state, state he, he never, never speak English? English. He, he replied. The, uh, see, without taking the Kilian, order. we are talking side, about uh, youth uh, and we are when, in the youth week. What if the head of state has a, 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 a paragraph in his speech addressing the youth in English? In English. His speech is parallel, translated. 50 Kilian, I'm saying something. That what if the president opens his mouth and speaks English? Why not a situation where he speaks in, in English and he translates in English? In French. Maybe it's also possible. You are calling that, on that, him to that, do that. Uh, As you, that should he's not listening. Be, you should yes. call for him. That should not be a, 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 a major preoccupation, please. It also makes me feel concerned. If I tell you, if I tell you that we are talking about communication, he's listening. He should. Yes, we are talking. He should. I want to hear him speak English. We are talking about communication. We are talking about communication. And uh, if you yeah, if right. we restrict ourselves yeah. because the head of state reads in English uh, or in French and it's translated. without uh, uh, the focus no, is the message. I, I don't think that's a major uh, problem. Is the focus, aspect? just as uh, uh, Kilian is has said, is the message. message. The message is translated. And these are the people that are killing Cameroonians. Why can that message not be translated what, in French? What these is the, the interest? And, and the, for interest one, the interest is for you to digest the content of the message or. That uh, okay. aspect of present. We, we got that you. Is not a that, that was just an example that you took. The, the, we, we, the, the, the we were discussing is that 
the, 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 the content. Yes, the content we hold Which is always it, translated. You yeah. can have it. Our point is, from, you are the our, people that I don't know our point is this. No, 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 no. Our, 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 our point our is, is that why... Uh, why, uh, why we are talking about, we are talking about what is schooling uh, yes. bilingualism back. Yeah, yeah, we and not have time that was just an example, but she was talking about, I think what we can draw from there is that in general, the reluctance of those in positions of power to implement what has to be. Thank you very much. And also, let me encourage you. Please, please, please. Let me look at which let us not undermine the yeah. effort of that commission. No, yes, no, 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 Yes. Please uh, look at that time. Okay, I'm we sorry. We'll look at that time. I'm sorry. You'll see. We <laughs> have sorry. consumed our time. I wow. want to thank you very much for coming. Lovely, um, Victor, mm -hmm. Kisito, and Giyo. Uh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we also want to thank you for watching today's edition of the program. If you miss out on the program from the beginning, uh, you can uh, watch the program at any time you want on CRTV uh, web Facebook or at your convenience, that's where you watch the program. Tomorrow you can watch a, a rebroadcast of this program uh, between 2.30 and 3 on CRTV. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed.